good news is always shared immediately and joyfully. Birth of a child, beauty around us, scrumptious pastry, and well-seasoned food. That is us naturally recognizing the good, true, and beautiful. But what happens if we are unable to do it, let alone joyfully? Before that, let me just say that we're halfway through this series. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified of a new video like this one. So, the earlier question asks, how can anyone share the good news joyfully when we are not? Number one, not feeling joyful is not a bad thing. Emotions are not a bad thing. This experience is very human and God does not want to take that away from us. He is there with us in our moments of fear and doubts as well as in our joys. Two, in the 2013 apostolic exhortation, Joy of the Gospel, Pope Francis shared that the joy of evangelizing always arises from grateful remembrance. It is a grace that we constantly need to implore. Our lives are a series of deaths and resurrection, so we are encouraged to always recall God's goodness in our lives. Not to make the sadness go away or distract ourselves from the present, but to make present the past as a way of re-encountering Christ in the story of our lives. This renewal of faith enables us to love again and again because He first loved us. Re-encountering or encountering God will turn our mourning into dancing. Do you remember a video about people's reaction when they are called beautiful? They all almost have dull faces and sad expressions, but the moment they were called beautiful, their faces lit up. Jesus is the good news and he's always the first to bring it to us. And with this conviction, our joy is sustained as we go forth by the power of the Holy Spirit bringing joy to the world. Like the woman at the well, we want to run back to our town and homes and shout it from the rooftops. C.S. Lewis calls it the good infection and Matt Fred illustrates this as a beggar telling another beggar where the bread is. On the practical note, if you have valid concerns like how or what do I say or if I have stage fright, what am I going to do with that? You will be supported by the formation you will receive, encouragement from the people who will be joining with you, and also Jesus did promise that he will be with us to the end of time. So let's take that seriously, very seriously. We have come to the end of this video. Thank you for being with me and don't forget to like the video if it helped and share them in the comment section below. Oh, and one more thing. I want to invite us to read the joy of the gospel because... Bye for now and I will see you next week for the next webisode.